What's going on YouTube? Uh, I'm bringing you a quick haul video of some things I grabbed over the weekend. Not a whole lot this time, honestly, because I've had so much stuff to kind of list and uh, and pack and ship and everything that I didn't really need to source a bunch. And sorry guys, I still got that cold I'm dealing with, but uh, I'm on demand, I'm getting better. So yeah, a couple things I got. Most of it's from uh, Goodwill Stop, but we'll start with the jersey. The Blue Jays jersey, it's a Reyes one. Obviously, you can see on the back there. This was actually on a rack or on the coat hanger with another shirt over top of it, and the shirt was buttoned up. I kind of just caught this poking out of the sleeve and a bit of the blue there and thought maybe it was a Blue Jay. So I'm going to assume a Goodwill employee was probably trying to hide it so they could buy it you know, on their break or uh, when they were done work. But I grabbed that, uh, which is kind of cool. I don't know, I'll probably list it. $60 or something with free shipping see how it goes a couple board games nothing too crazy old game of pit Which is it's kind of cool. It's missing the bottom, but it's got the styrofoam insert the bell It's an old trading card game. They actually do pretty good. I get about 30 for that So yeah, that was the pit game uh, a trivial pursuit uh, Subsidiary card set this one is a silver screen edition it was showing it was going for about 25 with uh, actually a ranking under 100,000, so that's not too bad. Just your basic board games. I grabbed these all the time. It was two bucks. Um, I usually get consistently $25 for them every time, and they, they sell pretty quick. A Zelda puzzle. It looked pretty complete. All the pieces were bagged. I'm going to count through them and see. It's $2. Uh, they were bringing 30 or so on Amazon and about 18 to 25 on eBay, so I don't know. I'm, I'll probably throw that to Amazon, too. Overboard Lakeside game. It's from 1968. I didn't see it on Amazon, so that might go on eBay for $15, $20. I don't really know the price on it. I've never gotten one before. This one was a good one. It was going for almost $40 on Amazon. So, you know, watch out, I guess, for the game of knowledge. It looked pretty complete. It was $2. And then gestures. I've sold, I don't know, three or four of these now. So it was going, I think on the low end, about 22 So I'll probably sit a little higher on all of these with Christmas coming. Um, just because I'll let the cheaper guys sell out and I'll grab a little bit more for it. Next I grabbed some Nike shoes. They're size 16, so they're huge, but they're, they're really clean. Hopefully it focuses in. The tread's good on the bottom. Uh, the laces are a little dirty. And the leather's a tiny bit dirty, but overall it's it's not too bad. I saw a few of these going for about $60 used. So I don't get into shoes that much, but I have some product that really cleans these up. So I'm going to make a video just kind of showing you the product I use and how I clean them up. If I can't get these laces clean, usually I'll just buy cheap new ones or um, I'll take them completely out and I'll try and wash them with the laundry. That sometimes helps. But yeah, that, there's going to be a video to come on how to clean that. I don't normally grab VHSs, but when they're sealed, I pick them up. This one was a sealed crow. It goes for about $17 on Amazon. So, you know, for the 50 cents it was at our Goodwill for VHS, I'll take that. Next was a little bit of an older Batman shirt. I grab tees like this all the time, as long as they're like official Marvel, official DC, stuff like that. I don't grab the the Gideon or whatever it's called, the Walmart brand or the Gap or or anything like that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get $18, $20 for that. I might sit on it for a few months. T-shirts aren't a super fast moving thing, but they do all right for me. Uh, if you guys are wondering what that is, it's a automatic meat slicer. I'm actually selling that for a friend. They're worth a lot. It's a big commercial grade one. And then last was, this came from a Goodwill auction. It's a HD handy cam. Flips open. I wonder if it'll turn on right now. The battery might be dead. No one was bidding on it. I got it for $5 at the Goodwill auction. Uh, it shoots HD video. I think it only does 720, but you can turn it around too, so you can see me filming you guys. But yeah, for, for the $5, I might take that with me and actually just use this just to get like quick thrift store garage sale clips and things like that. Hopefully the quality is good because the camera I'm using now, the quality is nice, but it's big. It's kind of a pain in the ass to carry around. And then lastly, this is from the electronics bin, uh, the recycling bin in our parking lot. Got a Sony cassette player, or a Walkman, with a radio. These actually do decent. They won't bring huge money, but they always seem to sell. You want to get the ones with the radio, especially like the sports ones. Uh, no headphones or anything. The battery cover was nice. There's no corrosion or anything in there. I already threw a VHS and used some basic headphones, or a VHS. I already threw a cassette and some basic headphones, and it worked good. 
So I'll probably get about 25 for that. Both these were thrown in there. Uh, one's just a iPod, just a one gig. It's pretty basic. It's pretty scratched up. And then I think this one was a 32 gig. It's not going to focus on it. But it's also pretty scratched up. Yeah, it's a 32 gig. So those were in the e-waste bin. I plugged them in. They both work. One has a bunch of songs. They're not locked. So, you know, I'll probably throw those in a lot. I don't know. I'll just let them run on an auction for 15, 20 bucks and see what they go for. Uh, and then this was also in there. It's a keyboard for an iPad. So I'll probably throw that in with those two and just do an Apple lot. Probably bring $30 or whatever. I don't usually run auctions, but when I'm nothing into them and I don't want to test them or clean them up, I did test these. They work. Or when they're this dirty and scratched. You know, they're not going to bring top dollar anyways, so I'll just run them for an auction and get what I can get. I'm nothing into them. The other thing was the Samsung Galaxy S3. Same thing, worked perfectly. Now, guys, if you're going to throw your phone out in an electronics bin, get rid of the information. This guy had a lock code on it. It was this way and to the left, and it, I got it first try. It opened right up. So I factory reset it, delete all this information, and um, it doesn't always stay on. I Googled it. There's an issue with the power button being compressed, especially if you used an OtterBox on these too much. It is a cheap fix, but I'm not going to get into it. How it sits working, um, it's a 32 gig. I should still get about $50 for it, so I'll run it probably as an auction too. And uh, that's about it. But yeah, that, that e-waste bin still paying off for me with computer parts and phones and iPads and iPods and all sorts of stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Shoot me an email or, you know, you can hit me up on Facebook and message me there. Thanks for watching.